Hi, Mara. I'm Anna. Earlier in the year, we discussed design trends of 2020. This time around, we're gonna hit up some common design mistakes and how to correct them. Welcome to the Mara and Anna Show. We're back. <laughs> Episode two. <laughs> so everyone does it, I and mean, it's not our proudest uh, points of design, but I feel like we, we learn through every mistake that we make and we never make them again. Picking out the wrong rug size for a space. Absolutely. And with that, I mean, that means bedrooms, living rooms, like all of your furniture. I think we talked about this, you know, a king size bed will fit a nine by 12 area rug. You wanna have at least two feet on each side just to get off of the bed comfortably. A uh, queen is usually like an eight by 10. So kind of use those as your guide to measuring. Yeah, I think living rooms, let's take that for an example, should be a minimum of an eight by 10. Quite honestly, probably a nine by 12. If you're considering a four by six or a five by eight, don't. It's too small. Some of those really authentic rugs come in odd sizes, like a four by seven and a half or whatever, but use those and keep those for foyers. Hanging art too high. It's, we see it all the time. I'm not yeah. sure where that started or how it happens. Maybe that's something, uh, your husband's hanging the art and he's seven <laughs> feet tall, but <laughs> it's, it's almost always too high. Think eye level. Yeah. It should be, one of the most interesting things in the room. You don't have to have overwhelming pieces. It's about scale and proportion. So you might be a little bit intimidated by this huge wall that has a couple pieces on it, but if they're at the right height, visually, it'll be okay. Our next thought was to not make everything so matchy-matchy. I feel like you, know, you can walk into a store and say, oh, I love this, 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 don't purchase it all at one time. Like try and have it be a collected look. Otherwise it's just gonna look really stale and look like a, um, a catalog yeah. living room that doesn't, right. that you're not living right. in. You can mix a leg style. Yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah, exactly. And uh, finishes on legs can be a little different too. Be a trendsetter. Yeah. <laughs> we always say that, no. Another one is letting paint color, don't beat yourself up if that first paint sample, even for us, we're experts and we know about yeah. light reflective value and all, all of the details, but right. sometimes it's the color in between the samples and Correct. you really have to, um, please, please don't be afraid. Put it on the wall over here and then over there because yeah. it changes in the light. I know, it does. And personally, I've had the problem where um, I've repainted a whole space four times. I've done it too. I hate to say that, but I just was not really happy with the color. It wasn't perfect to me. Yep. So for me, I learned that we need to start painting little spots in every variation of lighting in a space. So it's okay if you've made mistakes. Uh, we've all been there. We live and learn. Forgive yourself. Sometimes it's just working through some of those uh, design mistakes with your designer. Come and see us at Peabody's. And join us again for the Mara Nana Show. Perfect. <laughs> that was Cut that out. <laughs> Don't say Whatever that. Whatever works.